Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today we are going to understand logics and the first topic that I will be making you clear is sentence and proposition. So let us understand what are these two definitions, sentence and proposition. So sentence is basically a sensible combination of words. So from very beginning when you start talking, you make a group of sensible words and you communicate your words to somebody else so that you can understand. So it is just a sensible combination of words. Whereas a statement, it is a declarative sentence which is either true or false but not both. So what is a statement? It is always declaring something. It is a declarative sentence and it can be either true or it can be either false, right? So it is universally true or universally false but at the same time it cannot be true or false. So similarly, we can also say the synonym for statement is also called as a proposition. So a sentence conveying a situation which is neither imperative, exclamatory, nor interrogative is a statement. So when we say that a sentence which is neither imperative, so what are imperative sentences? Where we are ordering something, requesting something, getting a glass of water, those sentences are called as imperative sentences. What are exclamatory sentences? Where we are remarking something, may God bless you with good marks, right? And what are interrogative sentences? That means all those statements which are ending with a question mark, where you are ordering, when you are asking a question, right? So a statement, it cannot be imperative, it cannot be exclamatory and it cannot be interrogative. It has to be a declarative sentence, right? So now, so this is the difference that sentence is just a sensible combination of words. So a sentence can be true and false at the same time, right? It might happen that whatever you are saying, somebody may agree and some may not agree, right? But when we are talking about a statement, it is always either true or false. Similarly, what is a propositional logic? A propositional logic, so proposition is a declarative sentence which is either true or false but not both. So when I say that she is beautiful, right? So do you think that everybody will agree with the statement that she is beautiful? No. For some, it may be that she is beautiful. For some, she may be very beautiful. And for others, she may not be beautiful. So can I say that this statement is universally true for everybody or universally false for everybody? No, I cannot say. So in this case, this sentence, this, is, this will just be a sentence. It will not be a statement or a proposition, right? But when I say that New Delhi is the capital of India, if it is the capital, everybody will agree with me and say that this statement is 100% true, right? Universally, it would be a true statement. And if it is not the capital, everybody will agree that it is not the capital of India and it will become a false statement automatically. So then I can say that New Delhi is the capital of India is not a sentence, but can be marked as a statement or a proposition, right? Okay. So let us take some statements and see whether they are propositions or not. So when we say 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, it is universally true, right? So this is a statement. When we say 3 into 3 is 8, universally everybody, everybody will say that, no, it is not 8, it is 9. So again, this is a statement, right? 7, 8, 7, double zero, double nine, double one is a prime. If it is a prime number, everybody will say it is prime. It will not happen that some are saying it is prime and some are saying it is not prime. So again, this is a statement. Today is Tuesday. If it is Tuesday, like if it is Tuesday today, everybody will say it is Tuesday. If it is not Tuesday, everybody will deny with it. Right? So this is also a statement. Let's consider some more examples. The next example is x plus y is greater than 0. Now you don't know what are x and y. So can I say that this is a statement? Here, when you change the values, when you take x and y to be positive, it is 100% going to satisfy the relation. But when you take the numbers negative, right, it will not satisfy the relation, right? That means for certain x and y, it is true. For certain x and y, it is not true. So this is not a statement. This will just be a sentence, right? And similarly, the next one is x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. So in this case, again, for the triplets which are satisfying this relation, 
it is a state it is a true statement otherwise it will become false so at the same time it is not true it is true and false right so this is again not a statement clear okay so now what are compound statements compound statements are when simple statements are connected with the help of connectors what can be those connectors the connectors can be and or not if then if and only if so if these are the connectors and when we take the help of these connectors to join these statements they become the compound statements right for example we have two simple statements sham is a honest boy and sham is a hard working boy so if i connect it with the help of the and connector it will become sham is a honest and hard working boy so here i can see that i have used the connector and so this will be no longer called a simple statement it will be called as a compound statement right okay now the propositional logic now the area of logic which deals with propositions is termed as propositional logic Right. Since we are going to do the maths behind it, so wherever we have a statement, it is not easy to write the statement again and again. So we will write the statement with the help of symbols. So any alphabet can be used, but the general alphabets that are used to denote the statements are P, Q, R, and S. So it can be any variable. So all the variables that are representing the propositions, they are called as the propositional variables. For example. The statement that I have written is today is Friday, so I can always represent today is Friday with the symbol P, right? And since we are doing the logics behind these propositions, so the statement, as we said, that it is either true or it is false. So what are the truth values of a statement? The truth values of the statement are that either the statement would be true. or the statement would be false there is no other outcome that it is true and false at the same time so either it is t or it is f right okay so i have some practice questions so i am giving you some sentences and you need to determine which of them is a statement so the first one is is sham an honest boy so here you can see that it is an interrogative sentence so this will not be a statement so this is not a statement the second one is may god bless you with good marks so this is what this is an exclamatory sentence so a statement cannot be exclamatory right so this is again not a statement the third one is delhi is the capital of india so if it is the capital everybody would say yes if it is not the capital everybody would say no right so this is a statement fourth one today is monday so again if it is monday everybody would say yes if it is not a monday everybody would so no it is not a monday then we have 7 is not a prime number what is the answer everybody will say it is a false statement it is universally false and hence it is again a statement right so i hope you understood what is the difference between a sentence and a statement right so thank you so much for listening to me and do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos and do share the videos also with your like with your loved ones and follow the next video to understand the logical connectors so thank you so much and have a nice day